Let's talk a few storage containers that you can use for your bathroom. So this first one, you're going to need a mason jar or some type of jar. You're also going to need another little container for the top. I'm gonna to be using this button container that you can get in the craft section at Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna start by gluing the mason jar lid to the outer rim so that this is one piece all stuck together. Then I'm going to remove the labels, which always takes the longest amount of time. I'm also gonna be using some Goo Gone to help me get those labels off. I'm gonna be spray painting both of the lids with the hammer colored spray paint. Once that dries, I'm going to assemble everything together. So I'm gonna take my clear jar and I'm going to use E6000 and hot glue and add it to the top of my mason jar lid. I'm gonna fill the bottom up with cotton balls. And with the top, I'm actually going to put in some Q-tips. Now, as I put in the Q-tips, I realized that the lid didn't fit on really well, but I figured since it was kind of at an angle, I could just leave the lid off and it would be a great way to store my Q-tips. Now another organization item that I found at Dollar Tree was this iridescent jar. I absolutely love the way this jar looked and the top was actually in a rose gold color, but I wanted the color to fit in just a little bit more with my color scheme. I'm gonna spray paint the lid with the hammered finish. I love to use jars like this to store my lipsticks in. I think it works out really well. I'm gonna show you how to display the Q-tip containers and the lipstick container on my rope tray that I made earlier. And I'm also going to add in a little succulent plant from Dollar Tree. Now, if you're a Dollar Tree shopper, you probably know that Dollar Tree has these little magnetic containers in a pack of two. They also have this magnetic board that they sell in the frame section. So I thought this would be great for organizing items in a bathroom. I picked up the magnetic board and three of the packs of the metal tins, and I'm gonna use these to organize in my bathroom. I didn't paint or do anything to this. I'm just going to hang the magnetic board on my wall. You could also put this on a cabinet. I think that would work really well. You're gonna use some command strips on the back and just adhere it to the wall. Then with your containers, you can add in different things like hair accessories, you could add in bobby pins, rubber bands, really anything that you want to store that's a smaller item. And you can put them in your bins and put them up on the board. This board is going to hold six of the containers. Since I was really trying to go with a set color scheme in this video, as I was walking around Dollar Tree, I found these butterflies and I really loved their neutral mauve look. I felt like these would be a perfect wall art piece that was a little bit unexpected. So I'm going to use these butterflies as well as some wood beads. I'll link them for you down in the description box and some twine. I'm gonna start by cutting a large piece of twine. I'm gonna tie a double knot at the end of my twine and then I'll add on some of my beads at the bottom. Next, I'm going to tie a knot at the top of the beads. I decided to figure out what butterflies I wanted to use. I want the butterflies to double up so that if they get turned the wrong way, you could still see the butterflies. So I got two butterflies, starting with the larger butterflies up top, going down smaller as they gradually get lower. I'm next going to attach my butterflies to my rope using hot glue. So I'll put the back one on and then put hot glue on the white side and put a butterfly on top. I'll go up a little bit farther and continually add on butterflies, trying to make my spacing about the same for each of the butterflies. Once I get to the top, I'm gonna tie a knot at the top of my butterfly. I'm gonna add on three more beads tie another knot. You can put this anywhere in your bathroom. I put mine on my door. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibic DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.